software development is becoming a really lucrative career. And I really understand that so many people want to become one because they see the thick paycheck or the freedom it can give you. That was actually one of the reasons I started to learn software development because I saw the potential of working remotely around the world. But many people fail along the way of the journey to become a software developer and one of the reasons is it's very emotionally difficult. Let me explain you what do I mean by that. You are here and this is your emotional level and this is your journey to a software developer career. You decide you will start learning and change your career to become the best software developer on the planet. As a majority of us will go on YouTube and type how to become a software developer. Most of the results you will see is to start learning HTML and CSS, which is absolutely okay, but it has some downside. You will start learning and your level of confidence grows because you're just becoming better and better. Suddenly you can style a button or you can create a simple page with HTML and CSS. And if you like, you made it. So your emotions are super positive, you are confident and you just feel like you can do everything. And as you can see on the chart, your confidence and your emotions are on the top. This is the point where you feel like you can literally get any job in the world. You can start working on Facebook, on Google, on Microsoft and you will actually show them how to code. Then you go on Google and you will start searching for jobs as a software developer and you notice that they don't even include HTML CSS and they will bombard you with programming languages like JavaScript, React, Angular, Docker, Node.js and so many stuff. And suddenly your confidence will go to zero and this is the point where majority of people actually fail and they will never come back to it. Because they see that in order to actually get a job, get the first step, you need to learn all these things and it feels like impossible. So as I said, this is the point that literally 95% of people fail, they will just never come back to it. Naughty, naughty. And I absolutely understand them because I was there as well. You have actually only two options. You either quit and you will regret that you never pursue this career that could actually change your life. Or you will keep going. Let me give you advice and it's from my own experience when I was in the same point when I wanted to quit and never come back to it. So what did I actually do? In order to keep going you actually have to stop learning everything in once. Let me give you an example. Let's say you want to build a new car and you will start learning everything. That will be so overwhelming that probably everybody will just stop and do something else. Because people who specialize in this field, they spend years and years to learn how to build a car. It doesn't just happen overnight. If I know I need to learn JavaScript, React and let's say Docker. So I will start with the basic stuff so I will be actually motivated to do something because if I just pick the, the most difficult one it's really difficult and most of the time your confidence will go down again. So what do I recommend? Start with the basic and build your way up so your confidence will grow, your emotions are gonna grow as well and that's how you're gonna become a better programmer. Once I learn JavaScript I will move on to React and as well I will start with the basic stuff and I will build projects I will build small projects first and then I will build more and more projects so I will become more confident, more emotionally stable. So this is my advice guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time, peace.